Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of how to find intersection of a line and a plane. Let's see what is the question. Question asks, uh, find the intersection point of the plane given by this equation, 2x minus y plus z equals to zero, with the line perpendicular to the plane and passing through the point negative 3, 1, and 1. Okay, uh, what you need uh, to know to be able to solve questions like this is that first you have to find parametric equations for the line. Okay, so the step, step one to solve questions like this, well, uh, find parametric equations. for the line. Uh, in some of the questions, the parametric equations are given, but in this specific question, it is not given. Let's, let's do step one and then uh, proceed to the next steps. Okay, so uh, to write down parametric equation for a line, I need two pieces of information. One, I need a direction vector, or a vector which is parallel to that vector, uh, to that line. The second is a point. Here a point is given, so point is negative three, one, one. What about the direction vector or the vector which is par parallel to the line? So it says it's perpendicular to the plane. If a plane, a line is perpendicular to the plane, it will be parallel to the normal of that plane. So that means a line, the line is parallel to any normal vector of the plane. But what we know here is that the equation for the plane is given in, in the standard form. If the plane is given in standard form, then it's easy to find a normal vector for that. What you need to do, just pick the coefficients of each variable. The coefficient of x is 2, a coefficient of y here is negative 1, and the coefficient of z is 1. And this, this is a normal vector for the plane, but by the fact that it's perpendicular to the plane, the, the line is perpendicular to the plane, so this will be parallel to our line meaning that I can use it as my direction vector. So then when you have all those pieces, you can go ahead, so I can fill in this part to negative one, one. I can go ahead and write down the parametric equation. So I know that in parametric equation, my variables, all three, are functions of t, so I will have exactly power one of t. The coefficient of t will be corresponding coefficient of the direction vector, or the vector which is parallel to the line. So here it will be two, negative one, and one. But I'm not done, I have to add a number to each equation, and those numbers are corresponding components of the point through which the line passes. So I have negative 3, 1, and 1. Okay, let me simplify this thing. xt is going to be 2t minus 3, yt is going to be negative t plus 1, and zt is going to be t plus 1. Okay. 
that's a step one. I found parametric equations for the line. Step two is plug parametric equations into the equation of the plane. Well, I have the equation 2x minus y plus z equals to 0. I have to plug in the parametric equations into this equation, meaning that for x, I have to write 2t minus 3. For y, I have to write negative t plus 1. And for z, I have to write t plus 1. And then equation is equal to 0. OK, let's simplify uh, this equation. I have 4t minus 6 plus t minus 1 plus t plus 1 equals to 0. For t, 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 I have 6t, 6 times t, minus 6 minus 1 plus 1. These two cancel, so I have minus 6 equal to 0. I'm done with step 2. I plug, uh, plugged the parametric equations of the line into my uh, into the equation of my plane. Step three is solve the equation. The equation that we found for t, solve it and find value of t from that equation. So I have 6t minus 6 is equal to 0. That means 6 times t is equal to 6. And then that means t is equal to 1. I found the parameter of the intersection point. But I haven't found the point itself. To find point, the intersection point, I have to plug this value of t into my parametric equations and get the point. So that's step four. Plug the value of t into parametric equations. OK, I will need the space here. So I can use this part. Like, let me raise step one a bit. So I'm using step four here. So I have t equals to 1. Then I have to plug in t equals to 1 in all three parametric equations for the line. So x at 1, y at 1, and z at 1. x at 1 is 2 times 1 minus 3, which gives me 2 minus, one, minus 3, which is negative 1. y at 1 is negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. And z at 1 is 1 plus 1, which is 2. I found the intersection point. The only thing I need to do is to write it as a triple. First component, x in the first component, y in the second component, and z in the third component. OK, so very quick wrap up is whenever you have questions like this, find the intersection of a plane and an uh, and a line. First, you have to make sure that you have parametric equations for the line. If it is given, that's good. Go ahead, use it. If not, you have to write it yourself. In this case, we found the direction vector, we found the point, and then we formed the parametric equations. 
second step is that you plug the parametric equations into the equation of the plane. So we plug in for x, plug in the parametric equation, in this case was 2x minus 3, and so on. Then you're, when you plug in the parametric equations into the equation of the plane, you get an equation in terms of t. In this case, it was 6 times t minus 6 equals to 0. Then solve that equation. Solve that equation for t and find the value for t, and you're almost done. The only thing you need to do, plug in that value of t back into the parametric equations and find the intersection point, the values of those parametric equations at that value will give you the intersection point. Thank you for watching this video.